up everybody? Um, here we are eating breakfast. Is this like a mukbang, dude? I don't know. I'm just eating breakfast. Um, I tried something different. Did a little intro with the music. Not very long, but to start my day is not very interesting, you could say. Thought I'd just start it off with something nice and aesthetic to watch. But yeah, here we are sitting down eating. Um, I just want to make a video today. Show you guys some I got. Um, go over the channel because I had a long talk on Twitch with a few fans last night. If you don't follow my Twitch, I go live and I play games. Uh, if you want to follow it, go give it a follow. It's just Bobe, my last name. But yeah, anyways, cat, I need to eat breakfast. So this is going to get cold. Nice. I'm bulking right now. I'm trying to gain as much weight as I can before the summer comes. Um, I'm 175 right now. I'm trying to hit 190, 195. I'd be happy with that. But 200 is the ultimate goal. Um, I was supposed to eat three waffles, but I only had two left. So I need to hit the grocery store after this. I'll go for the macros on this meal. They're actually insane. Premier protein, of course. You get this at Costco or Walmart. This is just nice. Like, you come downstairs, you want something to drink, you just swig it down really quick. This has 30 grams of protein already. No sugar, one gram. I mean, it's 160 calories. Like, I get this down in 20 seconds. Two of the Kodiak waffles, I throw these in the toaster oven, as you can see. Or is that just an. That's just a toaster, that's not an oven. Two of these waffles is 240 calories. I was gonna eat three. That would have added another, what, 120 calories. And then the turkey bacon, three slices, 105 calories. But here's the macros, just for, just for breakfast. I'm already at 500 calories, which is insane. If I would have added one more waffle, I would have been at 640. That's already 48 grams of protein right now, 21 grams of fat, 28 grams of carbs. So my protein goals for the day, body weight so probably around 175 using my uh newish camera lens i was watching an old video i'm like damn this camera lens is insane like it's actually really nice so maple syrup sugar free tastes the same bro i'm like a sweet head i love sweets candy sugar free tastes the exact same i'm gonna hit the gym today i'm gonna do legs don't want to really bring you guys legs are boring as hell i'll probably get like Chick-fil-A. I love Chick-fil-A or Chipotle when I'm bulking. It's such an easy meal. But I have been cooking at home a lot. Um, Stouffer's mac and cheese. Big bulk meal. Not the healthiest, I guess. Easy calories, easy carbs. Decent amount of protein in that. So Stouffer's mac and cheese I have. And then I've been making um, ground beef with rice, sour cream, cheese, like hot sauce. I've been loading that up. And that, I don't even count the macros on that because I'm too lazy. But I know it's a fat amount. The calories. But yeah, the Twitch conversation last night, um, not last night, a couple nights ago, we were just talking about what I want to do, and it's really hard, because I don't know what I want to do. I guess my main goal is just to figure it out this year. I actually applied for a job, and I have a job I could go to. Um, might do that. It's a USPS job. Might suck, I don't know. I've never had a job in my entire life, so I don't know what working is like. I might enjoy it. I might enjoy going into work every morning and having a schedule, because if I wake up and I wear my pajamas and I play video games and I, you know, I don't feel productive. I feel like shit. Yeah, working sucks, but at least I'd feel productive. I like feeling productive. So might try it out for a year, might try it out for less. Um, I'm also gonna start Ubering. We'll talk about that in a little bit. I've been door dashing on the side and it's all right. Like low key during the hot hours, you can make like 30 to 40 bucks an hour if you really grind it. I've only done like seven or eight deliveries and I made, I think I made like 80 bucks. In total time, I've dashed like maybe three hours. So I made 80 bucks in three hours. These waffles are cold as fuck, man. I'm scared this bacon's gonna be cold too. Not bad, could be better, more crispy. I was just in a rush to get this shit filmed. So here's really what I want to show you guys today in, in this video. I got a new car. It's a Tesla Model 3. I got the carbon on the front, came like that. Um, it's kind of hard to show you in this dirty ass garage. We just moved in, so. Try my best, I'm just not gonna move it out right now. Maybe I'll do a full car tour if you guys really wanna see it, just let me know. Um, but here it is, here's the outside. This decal came on it. I might rip it off, I don't know if I'm in love with it. Um, I wish the windows were a little darker because you can still see in. But yeah, I just added this the other day, kinda trying to deck it out as much as I can. And then here's some more carbon fiber they got on the back. Model 3 performance, baby. I love it. Can't go wrong with the Tesla. Reliable, fast, amazing. But let's get in and talk about it. So let's talk about the overall purchase of this car. Um, my last video I want to address because I haven't posted since I posted about my dog that needed emergency care at the vet. Um, 
and I've been getting hate when I posted this car and that's not what I want. I want people to be excited. I want people to be... So if you're new here or if you're not, my last video is a video of me crying in the car. And my old car, that was a piece of junk that I needed to get rid of, which I did. But that is a video of me crying in the car because my dog got a disease called Parvo. And basically what that is, is your dog is dehydrated. They don't eat, they don't drink, and they poop, and they they just throw up and do all that. Very sick. It's like a 5% survival rate if you keep him at home. Um, and it's like at 90 to 80% if you take him to the vet. So when I discovered my dog had Parvo, I took him to the vet out of pocket. The first trip we did, I think it was like 700 bucks. Um, we were gonna do the at-home treatment for him and I paid $700. Didn't think about a GoFundMe, didn't think about anything, paid it. Um, we did the at treatment at home, he still wasn't getting much better. So what we did was we took him back and we said, hey, the at-home's not working. I think we're gonna have to leave him here at the hospital. Now that's a lot of money, leaving a dog at a hospital. He was there for I think three or four days total i think the total was like 2500 dollars at the end of the day and uh when i realized that it was gonna be that much i started the gofundme and i asked for your guys's help because i believe in good karma i've never asked for help you know my whole story i'm not saying i grew up in a hard life but i've never had parents that came for money i've never been spoiled i bought my car i paid for everything i bought my own phones my cars insurance everything nothing was ever paid for for my parents and when i made it doing my thing the past two years i gave my parents money i bought flights for everybody i'm a good person and i like sharing my wealth and i i don't ask for help if i ask for help i need it i hate asking for help but my dog was on his deathbed i was purchasing a house and i know you're saying if you can purchase a house you should be able to pay for a dog that should be the case i couldn't do it if i if i didn't if I paid for my dog, I might not have had enough money to put down on my house, and it was just terrible timing. We were in the process of moving. My dog is shitting and throwing up all over the house. It was just a bad time, so I, you know, we prayed, we did our thing, and I started the GoFundMe because I'm like, I have a good family, I have good friends, I have amazing fans, and I just, anything would help. Nobody had to donate, okay? This is the thing. I was hoping and praying that people would help out because it was just... I'm not made of money. I'm not rich. You think I am sitting in a Tesla? I bought this so I could Uber and DoorDash. We'll talk about that later. I'm talking about my dog right now. Where the hell was I? I don't even remember where I was, but I was getting somewhere. I don't ask for help, so when I ask, I really need it, and I wouldn't ask for help if I didn't need it. That is, one, that is the only time I've ever asked for help from people, and people came through. Um, oh yeah, you didn't have to donate. So let's say I posted the GoFundMe for the total goal, which was like 2,500, I think. I think we started out at 5,000 because we thought it was going to be way more, but it wasn't. But let's say only four people donated it and we made like $200. I would have still paid. That's the thing. People are like, oh, if you have puppies, you should be able to pay for their stuff, their vet. I'm like, I get that, but it was an emergency. And at the end of the day, I was going to pay. Um, I was probably just going to have to open a credit card with the vet and just do that but like i said fans friends family you guys all came through and i just want to say thank you i promise you i wouldn't ask for help if i didn't need it and it means a lot that everybody helped but i just know people are gonna hate because i'm in a tesla and people think that if you own a tesla you're rich that's not the case dude this is a risk for me this is the goal with the car let's move on i bought this car because i was starting to feel too comfortable i didn't like my trailblazer it was a piece of junk when my mom was here she was roasting it she's like what is this car it's falling apart blah 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 so i listed it and i sold it and i'm like okay i have this money now from my old car and I, I lost money on it but i'm like i'm too comfortable i wake up i play video games i don't work i don't do my thing i need something to motivate me so what will motivate you is getting a car that has a nice monthly payment that is like hey you got to get your ass up and work and do it so that's kind of my goal with this car um i want to uber i already signed up i should be good within the next weekend i'm hoping I've been door dashing a little bit i don't really like that i think uber will be better but then my other thing is turo i want to rent this car out i'm putting all the modifications inside i'm getting pictures taken and i'm going to rent it out and my goal is that the car will pay for itself by these services so if i'm ubering and i make 300 bucks i'm already a fourth of the way to my payment if i rent it out for a weekend I'm more than halfway there. You see what I'm saying? This is not not coming from my money. This is not my income. I would not buy this car for my leisure. I'm buying this car for business. I've only driven this car DoorDash into the gym. Like when I'm an Uber driver, I'm just driving it for Uber. I'm just going to rent it out. And then once it's paid off for the month by those services, then it's my car. 
So that's my idea with this. Um, it's a big risk for me. I'm not saying that. It could be a dumb decision. It could be smart. I'm just doing something that's going to make me uncomfortable. And I think everybody should do that. You shouldn't be doing things that you know you can do every day. Like, you know you can pay a $200 car payment. Well, let's up that and let's make you work a little bit harder because you're kind of being lazy. I was talking to Brittany's brothers the other day because we had like a little drinking session. And there's something that goes along with that. It's basically like, if I asked you guys what, like when you check your bank account, you have a number in your head like I hope it's at this or I hope it's a, like around this number am I right yes I know I do it too that's so bad because we're programming that we just need this to be happy like this will make us get by but when that drops two or three hundred dollars we're like oh shit like I, I need to stop going out to eat I need to stop spending money on stupid clothes or you know what I mean so at the end of the day I think we should up that number so if your number in your head is like a thousand dollars up it to fifteen hundred or two thousand if it drops below that then you freak out don't don't freak out if it drops below a thousand we got we we're just too comfortable as people nowadays and I'm not rich I may own a house and I may own a car but most of that is due to credit and that's the start of my 2022 is it's the unknown I don't know what I want to do and I'm being honest I, I could be in real estate by the end of the year. I could be just Ubering. I could be working at USPS. And it's okay to not know. If you ask me what I'm going to be doing next year in five years, I would tell you I don't know. And don't let people tell you that that's wrong because most of the successful people don't know what they're doing, don't have a plan. People that have a plan B or backup plans aren't committed to their number one goal which I don't even know what my number one goal is right now, so I can't even say shit about that. This video started off so like, okay, he's like getting ready, getting like, you know, it's nice, it's fresh, and now it's like a serious talk, and it's like me just snapping on people for talking trash about me. Yeah, that's basically it. I just wanted to let everybody know. I don't know why people hate on the GoFundMe. I just needed help. That's all there is to it. I'm not a bad person. I'm not trying to scam you. I had a vet bill. If I was some rich YouTuber, millionaire, or even could afford it, I would have paid it. Why would I ask for help if I could pay it? I'm not that stingy. I'm not stingy at all. Like, that's the thing that annoys me is I, like, throw money at people. Give money to my mom, dad, Brittany, friends. Like, I'm a nice person. If I if I could truly believe I could pay for that surgery by myself and I didn't want to ask for help or donations, I, I would have done it. That's what's annoying. I, I swear I'm a good person, dude. I just, that just doesn't make sense in my head. Like, when I see a homeless person, I'm, I'm, I don't know if they're actually homeless. They could be faking it. But I give a homeless person money every time I see them. I don't care what they do with it. I don't care if they go buy a bottle of beer. Whatever makes them happy, dude. When you hand them that money, they have a smile on their face. That's all that matters. I don't like supporting their addiction, but like, you know what I mean? Just give and I think this was my good karma and I, I appreciate everybody that donated. I'm done talking about it. Hate all you want. I know in my heart I'm a good person and I know in my heart that I needed it. And I know in my heart that you guys came through and helped out. So I appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to see a full car tour video, let me know. Me and Brittany filmed one, but I didn't post it because I thought I'd get hate. And I'm like, I kind of want to address it first on my channel at least. So we could post it on there or I could do another one and post it on here. I might do both. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Subscribe if you're old. Like the video. Just come back and let's, let's make 2022 crazy. Peace out.